For part A of this problem, we want to look at each term and determine whether it relates to the amplitude or the phase. So we are given the first term is 10, so that's just an amplitude term. Then we have E, uh, I'm going to write this out of order. I'm going to write the amplitude terms first. So then we have 0.1D, so both of these relate to the amplitude. 10 is just a constant amplitude, but then this one, this term, we have the amplitude changes as D changes. And so as D increases, which if I am a little more specific here with how I draw D than I did in the last problem, D is equal to zero at the load. So I should have probably in the last problem written D is going uh, in to the left because it goes towards the generator. So D increases as D increases. So it's increasing as we get closer to the generator, if this is an expression that represents a transmission line, which I guess it is in the description. So this is a decaying exponential as we go towards the load. Then the other two terms, e to the j 0.5 pi and e to the minus j 100 d, both relate to the phase. So this is amplitude and these are phase terms. This is just a constant phase applied over the entire transmission line for every d. This one is our e to the minus j beta d term, so the 100 there is the phase constant.